G'day everyone, it's Daniel McCabe here again from GI Energy and today we're looking at the brand new LG Neon H solar panel. Most of you will have heard of LG, they are the biggest brand name in the solar industry. They're a huge Korean company that have been trading for over 60 years now and this is their brand new panel. There's three main things that we always look at when we're reviewing a solar panel. First of all, who is the manufacturer and are they gonna be there to help you out in the really long term for warranty support? Secondly, how well does that solar panel actually perform in the real world? And then thirdly, how much does it cost? So first of all, let's take a look at LG and who the manufacturer actually is. As mentioned before, LG are probably the biggest brand name in the solar industry. In fact, I'll be willing to bet that probably 9 out of 10 people watching this video have an LG appliance in your home right now. I'd also bet that 9 out of 10 people have had a good experience with LG products over the years. That's really rare in this industry, most solar panel names you haven't heard of. So LG, obviously being that big brand name, carries quite a lot of weight there straight away. Just to give you some perspective on how large LG are as a company, their annual sales revenue was 53.4 billion US dollars. To put that in perspective, we have a chart here which shows a lot of common solar panels that are sold here in Australia and around the world. So you can see their LG Electronics at the top, Jinko Solar are actually the largest solar panel manufacturer in the world for volume alone. And then all the others on that list are all really, really big players in the industry. What that chart is showing is that all of those revenues combined equals 23.39 billion US dollars in sales. LG Electronics as a company, their turnover or their sales is 53.47 billion US dollars. So that really should show you just how much of a gigantic business LG are. They obviously manufacture things like televisions and fridges and washing machines, but they also go so far to even manufacture things like toothpaste, which I'm sure not many people would be aware of. So they're a huge, huge company. They're a massive household name. Um, in terms of solar energy specifically, the research and development team was started in 1985. And if you fast forward to today, they've won a huge amount of rewards for their solar panels here in Australia, most notably the EU PD Research Award for the top PV brand. They've won that in 2016, 17, 18, 19, 2020 and even this year in 2021. In addition to that, they've also won the Australian Reader's Digest Award for the most trusted brand in Australia in 2020 and 2021. They're three times winners of the InterSolar Award for having the best PV panel in the world and they're ranked as having the number one solar panel in Australia by Choice Magazine as well. So I think you get the picture there, lots of awards, big brand name, there really isn't anybody out there that, um, that comes anywhere close to LG in the solar industry. So why is that important to you as a consumer? Well, all solar panels now write really long warranties. In fact, as a bare minimum, you have to offer a 10-year product warranty and a 25-year performance warranty to be accredited by the CEC and to be able to get rebates issued for the panels that you manufacture. However, most of those panels are not big brand names like LG. So if you go back to 2013 and have a look at the list of Clean Energy Council accredited solar panels here in Australia, and you compare it to today, you'll find that 83% of those brands are either no longer in business at all or no longer serve in the Australian marketplace. What that means is everybody that installed one of those solar panels is probably going to have a really tough time getting a warranty looked after. So having a big brand name behind your solar panel, somebody that's really diversified, is extremely important for consumers. So in terms of who the manufacturer is, they get a massive 10 out of 10. There is nobody really that can score higher than LG there. So if we move on to the next category, let's look at how well they perform. 
We've already spoken about all the awards that LG have won over the years, and you simply just don't get to that level of credibility without producing really good solar panels. If you were to go back through the history of LG solar panels, you'll find that they've produ been producing really, really good quality panels for a very, very long time. They're always going to be one of the most efficient panels that money can buy. Every single year, they're either number one, two or three on that list of the most efficient solar panels you can purchase here in Australia, and this Neon H panel is no different. In fact, the module efficiency on the Neon 8 is up to 21.2%, which is a really high level of efficiency. They don't really have any competitors, or many competitors, I should say. The only real competitor for the performance of the panel over the years has been SunPower. Uh, SunPower make a great solar panel. They're also always up there as one of the most efficient panels in the world. The big difference is, though, obviously we were talking about how Nine out of 10 people watching this video have probably got an LG product in their home right now. Those same people have probably all had a really good experience with LG products over the years. Sunpower only makes solar panels, so there's no skin in the game. If the solar industry starts to go downward and the demand for solar panels here in Australia and also globally starts to dip, then you would have to suggest that LG with all that brand equity here in Australia has more of a reason to back its warranties than someone like SunPower who only makes solar panels. LG are actually the only big brand name in Australia that operate under the same ABM. So their electronics, LG Electronics ABM is the same one that makes solar panels. So if your solar panel does have a fault, even if LG weren't manufacturing solar panels anymore in 24 years time and you had a genuine warranty claim, They've got that brand equity there. They're gonna to wanna to look after customers because they know that you're a potential customer for a television or a fridge or a washing machine. As we've already said, they've been trading for 60 years. There's a lot of value in that brand. It's about as secure as it gets. So that's the big difference over SunPower who are really the only one that can test LG consistently over the years for being the best performing panel out there. Why do they perform so well? Well, first of all, they have that South Korean pedigree. They have the 60 years history. Research and development into solar panels has been ongoing since the mid 1980s. So there's a lot of work has gone into creating this LG Neon H panel, the latest one that we see here today. So the Korean quality generally just plays a really big part. Secondly, I think the most important thing about the actual makeup of this panel is that they use N-type cells, not P-type cells. So what does that mean? Well, without getting too scientific, basically a solar panel is made up of a series of cells. These cells are made of silicon, and the silicon is doped with chemicals which help produce energy. An N-type cell is doped with different chemicals to a P-type cell, which means it is a negatively charged cell. A negatively charged cell is basically a more efficient and more expensive cell. Actually, the first solar cell that was developed was an N-type cell, but because the first real big market for solar cells was space travel and a P-type cell was better suited for that type of use, that's where all the early research and development went to developing P-type cells. Because the main reason for R&D is to drive cost down. That's where those P-type cells have been developed for modern day use. So nearly all solar manufacturers are using P-type cells, which are a positively charged cell, which means that they're less efficient and cheaper. What we're starting to see today is an emergence of N-type cells. However, LG have been using their N-type cells since 2014 with their first Neon panel. It's only really now today that we're starting to see a few other manufacturers jump on that bandwagon and use N-type cells, but the LG have been doing it for a really, really long time. That just means that you're gonna get a really efficient cell also with a much lower degradation, which is why LG can offer a 25-year performance and a 25-year product warranty with the performance being guaranteed at 90.6% at 25 years. To give that some perspective, traditionally, the 25 year warranty would only be guaranteed at 80% for most manufacturers. In recent time, some manufacturers have caught up a little bit, but 90.6% to my knowledge is the highest percentage efficiency you'll get guaranteed at that 25 year mark. So 
Other than the N-type cell, what else is there with that solar panel that makes them so efficient and perform so well? One of the key things is that they have multi-bus bar technology. A bus bar is basically what carries your energy from your solar cells down your panel and then obviously you'll then take that into your home or business. Traditionally and, and, and even today most solar panels only have five or six bus bars. LG Neon H has nine. The easiest way to explain that is if you imagine a highway with five or six lanes at peak hour traffic, it could get pretty congested there. If you imagine now all of a sudden there was another four lanes opened up and we had nine lanes opened up, that traffic is going to flow quite a lot more freely down that highway. That's exactly the same as what happens with your solar cell. If you have five bus bars and your solar energy is peaking, which in Australia we get a long window of opportunity for our cells to peak because of the great climate we have, during those times you're going to get some resistance, which means you're going to get some losses. With the nine bus bars, it allows your energy to travel more freely, which means it's going to be a much more efficient overall solar panel. Aside from that, the other big selling point really is they have a very low temperature coefficient rating. Again, without getting too time scientific, what that basically means is the lower that rating, the better your solar panels are going to perform when it gets really hot. So the panel will be tested, every solar panel is tested at 25 degrees Celsius. For every degree above that, that the temperature rises, your solar cell is going to lose that percentage of efficiency, whatever the percentage of the temperature coefficient rating is, which on this panel is 0.33%. So if you had a 1% temperature coefficient rating, it would mean at 40 degrees, you would basically lose 15% of, of your efficiency because the temperature has risen by 15 degrees. LG is only 0.33% which is up there with the best panels in the world again. We've also obviously said that we want to look at what happens in the real world when we're testing solar panels. So interestingly, very recently, we spoke to one of our customers who we installed way back in 2011, who had the LG panel of that day installed on his roof back then. And we just interviewed him to see how things went. And his solar panels are still working really, really well today. I wanted to go with Bosch panels. And we went with the LG panels. He said, Grant, he said, this is the way you want to go. He said, I can, they'll, they're great panels. He said, um, if it was me, I would recommend the LG panels, which we did. Excellent system. We had absolutely no problem with it. Um, it was exactly as he said, if not better. So that's a genuine case study from one of our own customers from 2011, whose solar panels from LG are still operating really, really well today. That brings us on to our last category, which is price. Now, I think it's pretty obvious from what we've spoken about and the fact that LG have that brand, they're not gonna be the cheapest solar panel you can buy. They make premium products, premium TVs, fridges, washing machines, and all of their divisions are really high quality. It's no different with the solar panels. You don't win the amount of awards that LG have over the years for producing solar panels if your research and development is going into driving down cost. The research and development at LG in their solar division is to drive up quality, which costs money to do. So they are a more expensive solar panel. If you're looking for a really cheap system, that probably means that LG are not gonna be for you. They're certainly not for everybody. However, if you want to look at the overall cost of a solar system and you intend to be in your home or business for a reasonable amount of time, it would be worthwhile having a look at what that system is going to produce over that time period because LG being a very high performing panel with a really secure warranty in the long term, even though they cost a bit more, are going to be a better choice. So they're not for everybody, but if you have that budget, and you do have a long-term plan for your home or business, then definitely consider this LG Neon H panel. To summarize, as we've said, LG are the biggest name in solar. There's nobody out there that can compete with them in terms of producing a really high performance panel and offering a really, really, really secure 25 year product and 25 year performance warranty. As we've said, they're not for everybody, but if you can include them into your budget, you know you're going to get an amazing product and you know you're going to get really well looked after with that long-term warranty. 
Just one other thing to note, if you are going to install LG panels, make sure the person or the company that's installing them for you is highly accredited, has been around for a long time, and is going to install a really good inverter with that system. There's no point in installing a fantastic LG Neon H panel with a really poor quality inverter or really bad install quality because all that goodness from the panel is just going to get lost in the poor efficiency along the way. So do your research, make sure that you're pairing that great solar panel with a really good installer and a really good inverter to make sure that you're getting an overall high quality system. If you'd like some more information on LG, we'll put some links in the description below to some other reviews and some other data that you can look at on our website. If you're interested in getting a quotation for some LG solar panels for your roof, please get in touch with one of our friendly team and we'll prepare a proposal for you that will show you how the solar panels will look on your roof, how much energy they'll produce, how much money you can save, and what the environmental impact will be of having that solar system installed. So please feel free to get in touch today Thanks for watching, hopefully we'll hear from you soon.